Welcome back, Shaloners. We're gonna do something a little different today, an unboxing. I don't usually do unboxings, even though I get a lot of gifts sent to me from like publicists and brands and stuff. I will totally do more if you like them. I'm always just like, really? Somebody wants to watch this? <laughs> like, okay. But I did recently treat myself. I bought myself two luxury purses and I haven't opened them yet. They just came, my friend just dropped them off and I'm like, oh. so we're gonna discover them together. And so here's the thing, you know, before we get into it, before we get into it, I wanna remind you that if you have a love question or a fashion question, cause we can start talking about fashion. I'm, my goal, one of my resolutions for this year is to be more fashionable. Like I know I'm wearing a black shirt. I'm, I'm trying, but this is the resolution. Uh, so if you want to talk to me about any little thing, find me on my website, shallonlesser.com, and be sure to follow me on Instagram at shallonxo and listen to my podcast, Girl on Top, out every Wednesday, every place podcasts are found. So the reason I bought myself these things is twofold. One, I don't really have anything nice. I have nice jewelry. I have really nice luggage. That's it. I'm not a labels person. Like, this is a cashmere sweater and I love it so much I won't give it up even though I have literally worn holes in it and my friends, even my like grubbiest friends are like, you have to stop. I was like, no, I just love the shape of it and like, it's fine. Um, so I don't have like nice things. I have a Louis Vuitton like travel bag that I love but like I always thought buying into labels was sort of embarrassing. Like, oh, is that a Michael Kors? Who cares? Who fucking cares? And it's also ironic that people will buy something to look rich that ironically makes them poor in process of buying it. Like you would be rich if you didn't have the thing that you bought to try to make you look rich. Like what? Has no one gotten this memo? So I've never been like a designer goods person, but one of you guys actually asked me in a live stream recently, what's the nicest thing you own? And I was like, I couldn't really think of anything. And I'm like, you know what? I had a really good year. I've been working really, really hard. I'm gonna treat myself. And one of my friends gets 30% off at Saks, or she did, she just quit. So I was like, you know what? When am I ever gonna get a discount on such luxury goods? Let's go for it. I'm going to Paris in like two weeks and I was gonna buy myself a beautiful purse there. I was like, I'll buy it in America for 30% off. So I also bought these things to replace two items that I already have, namely Old Faithful. I love this purse. It's a Steve Madden. And unfortunately it says so on the back. And I love it. I wear it to like everything. It's like obviously fun and like if you're going to a country show, but if you're going to like just a bar, I don't know, in New York, it works really well in New York. I always get compliments on it, but I've kind of beaten it to death. It's filthy on the inside. I've like 10,000 lipsticks have opened up inside of this. And it's just kind of, I thought it was kind of lame that like, you know, I'm moving into this new space and doing fashion coverage and fashion photos and stuff. And I've got like, Steve Madden. It's like, I find myself always wanting to carry it facing out so that no one can see the label. And that is my own sad deficiency. The next thing I wanted to replace was my wallet. And my mom actually got me a new wallet for Christmas. She got me this gold wallet. It's from Target, <laughs> but it replaces one that I had like this was blue that I like literally wore out. Like I poked holes in the bottom of it. And so I'm trying to replace these two things and upgrade them into luxury goods. So I bought myself a YSL wallet to the tune of $600 and a Mew Mew black bag. So let's open them up, I'm so excited. Okay, so this is a Saint Laurent. It's not YSL anymore, it's Saint Laurent. It comes in this really nice black box. Isn't this nice? Like sometimes just the box is nice. And yep, as you can see, this retails for 575. Ooh, ooh, and it comes with, what's this thing? I don't know. It's a bag made in Italy, good. Wouldn't it be made in France though? Oh, it's a little like welcome note from <clears throat> Saint Laurent. Oh, little cards. What's this? Manufacturer equipped this item with an ID tag. So these are, these are its papers. This is the legitimacy that this is not a fake. This isn't a Chinatown bag. This is same thing in French. This is an authorization card, an authentic authentication card from Saint Laurent. And this is whatever that's supposed to be. I don't know. Please don't look too hard at my nails. I'm so sorry. I always have my nails done. I just don't today. So isn't this pretty? It comes in this pretty, its own pretty little pouch. Ooh. Oh, and a little, a little bit of styrofoam. <clears throat> oh my gosh. <gasps> look, look at this. 
Look, my beauty. It unsnaps. I, I hate that I don't have my nails done. Unsnaps there to like a coin purse situation, holding, you know, pictures of animals, maybe drugs. It says what? It says Saint Laurent Paris right there. And got, you know, card slots, money up there. It's a beautiful cream color. Oh, I guess that's the coin purse on top. So then this could this could be for pictures of animals or drugs. It could be for anything. Wow, this is so pretty. It's such nice leather. It's really rich looking. Like it looks really classy and nice. But I've already moved into this wallet, this $10 Target wallet. Like, am I literally gonna, ah. Once you move into a purse or a wallet, it's really hard to undo it. I'm having some feelings. I'm having some feelings, but oh, this is so, look at you. It also comes in black, but I thought the cream was just so classic and ladylike. It's also easier to see in your bag. You know, if you have a black bag with a black lining and all black stuff, good luck. Okay, so I'm having some feelings, but we're gonna, we're gonna open the next bag. So the bag I wanted, I wanted to replace this bag and I basically wanted this identical bag, just a nicer label. And now that I say that out loud, it sounds kind of embarrassing and shallow and ridiculous, but I wanted a bag with a short strap and a long strap with some sort of like tassel-y thing that was about this size. Cause I can fit, you can fit so much stuff in here and it, it carries really tiny. Like it doesn't look huge, but you can fit a pair of shoes. You can wad up a little sweater or scarf in there and you're take all of your stuff. It's really great. So I got, <laughs> this came, that, I got a Mew Mew bag. Mew Mew. So Mew Mew is a division of Prada, I believe, because, ooh, sorry, it's too close to the mic. Because Mew Mew is the nickname of Mucha Prada, who is like the woman behind the label. So I'm gonna open this. It came with a ton of like tissue paper in there for some reason. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wait, <gasps> look at this. That's kind of pretty. That's kind of pretty. It's quilted and it's like this calfskin leather. It's so soft. And these are little tassels. You can see the label. Let's take off these and expose the tassels. I also just felt like in my age, I wanted like one really nice purse, you know? Cause I've been waiting for a man to buy me one, but I guess I'm gonna keep on waiting. Ooh, oh, ooh, look at these tassels. Okay, let's open it up. Okay. It's a drawstring top, which isn't my favorite. More things, more things. That's important. More things. So it's deep, like it, it goes, it goes to here. It's pretty deep. It's a nice bucket bag, right? Okay, and then this is the longer strap. Ooh, baby. I guess I'm not taking it back. <laughs> I'm like unwrapping it. It's like once I've already paid for it, like I'm not taking anything back. It's like the money's gone. It's fine. So this bad boy retails for about $1,500. A lot of money. A lot of money. This is a $1,500 bag compared with one that was maybe 50. I, do you like one over the other? Don't look at me like that. Don't, of course I'm still gonna carry you. I'm gonna carry you to country music concerts and rodeos. Not because Mew Mew is too nice to take out and I care if I spill beer all over her, but because you're just gonna go better. They're, they're, those are your people. I'm sorry. Hi, welcome to the family. I like this strap, it's adjustable. Sometimes I will go to like the cobbler, like the shoe person. People always make fun of me for saying cobbler. They're like, oh, is he next to your blacksmith? And just have them poke more holes in it so that you can adjust the strap. I don't like something that, that hits too long. Like I walk like really swinging and then I'm like, boom, boom, boom with my purse against my hips. So these are about the same size. Okay, I'm feeling some things. I'm feeling some things right now. You know what I'm feeling? I'm feeling embarrassed and gullible. I feel like a basic bitch and not in a good way. Not in a good way that like, I am a basic bitch. 
I feel like I was bamboozled and like I just like I fell for it. You know what I mean? Like I fell for the great luxury goods hoodwinking of, of 2020. I don't need this bag. You know, there is nothing wrong with this bag. There's wrong with spending money for no reason. There's wrong with spending two grand on two items. Two grand on two items. But they are so pretty, aren't they? It's just interesting, like, what, how you feel when you get the thing that you think you want, you know? And sometimes you're like ecstatic and other times it's like, I don't know that I actually really needed that. It's, I'm gonna try to move into this wallet this weekend, but like, I love this wallet. It, I've been carrying it around and every time I pull it out, it just makes me so happy. It's like so shiny and I'm like a crow. I'm like, oh, is it something shiny? Like, I love it. But then like the idea of like, I'm going to Paris soon. I was like, I am gonna be so happy to have this Miu Miu bag on my arm sauteing sauteing around Paris sashaying around Paris in my holy sweater you know and like okay let's let's try let's try let's try it let's see how it feels okay so here here I am I'm sitting in a cafe oh we oui. yeah okay c'est vrai alors attends let me pay the check let me put let me reach for my Prada bag and put it in my YSL wallet oh attends oui monsieur oh the TF. Fabulous. My, my French is so bad, I start lessons on Monday. <gasps> Merci. Okay, that felt good. Okay, I could see me doing this. It is so pretty. So maybe it's either like I have to carry this every single place I go for the rest of my life, you know, to like make it like my bag and feel like mine, or I only use it for special occasions, but I feel like this is, the, this is like a more everyday bag. The wallet, I wonder if I should just use the wallet for special occasions, but who in the hell has a special occasion wallet? Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I feel like maybe like luxury goods aren't for me. Here's the compromise. I don't need to spend $1,500 on a purse unless like this is my one beautiful purchase for the year. My birthday's on January 23rd. So this is my birthday present to myself and also it's my Christmas present to myself. But I don't, I'm good for like another year and maybe that'll be it. Maybe every year I buy myself a really nice bag and I like look and I spend the year kind of like keeping my eyes on the trends and seeing what I want, seeing what's gonna go with my wardrobe and build it like that. Because I mean, in a few years, you could have like a really dope collection of bags, like an evening one, a tote, whatever. <clears throat> and look though, I will accept bags as gifts. And maybe that should be the thing, ladies. Maybe instead of asking dudes to like pay for Chipotle, it's like, you know what? You save up for my birthday. Here is a link to this Givenchy bag that I want. This is what I want. I always, when a guy asks me what I want for my birthday or Christmas or Valentine's, I always say jewelry. Always jewelry. I don't want a fucking hoodie. I don't want cupcakes. I want jewelry. It doesn't have to be like Cartier, but I want you to get me something that I can keep for a long time and wear for a long time and think of you for a long time. Mm -mm. So manipulative. So this was my unboxing. I got my YSL wallet, wallet, my Miu Miu bag. And you know, it also makes me feel bad because there are so many people out there who are struggling and have so little. And then I'm like this asshole walking around with like a $2,000 $2, bag, like really? But you know what? Me buying this or not buying this doesn't really affect anyone else's life. It doesn't. I still donate money, I still raise money, I'm still raising money for a homeless mom in Atlanta. And so I do think it's important to kind of pause and treat ourselves to things sometimes, but keep it sort of contained. Like if it's ruling your life, if you feel like you are deficient or your life is incomplete because you don't have the Prada bag, because you don't have the St. Laurent wallet, girl, this does not change a goddamn thing about my life. And you're like, well, maybe it's gonna make me more confident. Okay, okay. Cause that's true. I'm gonna trot around Paris with a spring in my step because I'm carrying this. I'm gonna feel very authentic and very in the know. But what if, what if I just acted like that anyway? What if I just did that? I always say the secret to being a hot girl is simply deciding that you are one. What if the secret to being fashionable is deciding that you are? The secret to belonging, the secret to being sexy and smart and cool. What if it's just, I am. Do you think anyone in Paris gives a fuck about the purse I carry? No. And I always make fun of girls who come to New York City and they wear like 
every single trendy thing they own at once. Like coach bag, Michael Kors belt, like weird hat. And we're like, cool. Like New Yorkers wear black. Like that's what we wear. Like we maybe go all out for like fashion week sometimes. But even then it's like, you can spot a tourist because they're like decked out in what they think a New Yorker wears. And we're like, neat. And so I'm sure Paris is the same way. Like I brought berets that I'm going to wear. And I'm sure these French women are going to be like, quel dommage. You know, just disgusted with me. That's fine. I want to hit my marks anyway. So thanks for following along with my unboxing. Let me know the most expensive thing you own, how you felt when you bought it. Did you save up for it? Did you go into debt for it? Because there's a big difference. I can look at my closet. I don't care how many years it's been. I can look at my closet and tell you and point out what I bought when I couldn't afford it. And then the whole, I don't care what it was, it's ruined. It's tainted and it's gross and it makes me unhappy. And shouldn't the things we own make us happy? This Marie Kondo thing, sparking joy? And if you can't afford something, on some level, it's not making you happy. So wait until you can afford something and don't buy something you can't afford. That's why I've never worn labels. It's like, I couldn't afford to. You know, I, I didn't have like the Chanel bag. I couldn't afford to have one. So what I had instead of those Chanel bags, Gucci loafers with the fur, I had authenticity. And I wore what I wore because I could afford to wear it. I wasn't in debt, nobody owned me. And that put the spring in my step. That gave me that confidence. No, I'm that bitch. I'm that liquid bitch. I'm not that in debt bitch. And it felt so good. I mean, this leather feels really good, but, and I could afford to do this, but going forward, you know, it's good for me to keep this as like a touchstone of, you don't really need that super fancy thing. You're good. <laughs> For more, follow me on Instagram. I, like I said, I'm heading to Paris soon. I'm going to document all of my fashion ventures because I have a whole bunch of cool outfits planned. Dedicated photographer. It's going to be dope. And listen to my podcast, Girl on Top. Every place podcasts are found. And if you have a question, find me on my website, shallonlesser.com and click get help.